welcome back. Ashley Metzger is with the Desert Water Agency. Thanks for joining us today as we, uh, yes. I guess, head into this winter tourism season. A lot of people coming to town for all kinds of things. Yes, uh, the weather may be uncertain uh, yeah. in the desert and in California, but one thing's for sure, we're going to be as busy as ever this January. Uh, the Film Fest is one great example of that. We've got some pretty wonderful people in town, and they're out there enjoying water and using water at their vacation rentals and their hotels. Now we were talking before we went on, you were saying how they just did a snowpack survey though. Obviously water is always on people's minds here in the desert where we don't have much, yes. but I guess they did the first state snowpack measurement this week. They did just yesterday okay. and we're only at about 3% of average. Okay. Uh, it's not time to panic yet because it's very early in the game and this is just one of the stations where they do the sampling. But I brought along a photo so you could kind of see the, the stark difference between last year and this year. Wow, look at that. Now on the left it was last year when we had record snowfall for yes. so much of the Sierras. And on the right this year, a little yes, bit. Yes, a little bit. bit and you know we're really hoping for more. and. That photo is a, a great reminder for everyone, you know, whether you live here or you're visiting here, please be conscious of the fact that we really have to respect all of our water resources. So that's why we're working with the tourism industry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hotels have signage in their rooms and those that don't, we, we offer to provide that signage to them to remind guests of things like, you know, the hotels aren't washing sheets every day for people. They're yeah. they're leaving those sheets on usually for the length of a stay as long as it's not more well, than a week. You don't wash your sheets most likely every day. None of us no, probably at do home. at home. So if you're in, in a hotel. Yeah, and the same goes for towels. You know, you can use a towel more than yeah. once. And and I think people are getting used to that when they travel is, is seeing those signs in the hotels and actually changing their behaviors. And then one thing I love to do when I travel is to take a reusable bottle with me. Hmm. Um, a lot of people who are coming to visit here will be hiking. Sure. So it's really important, snag a bottle, uh, take it with you on a hike, make sure you're hydrated because it is warmer here than anywhere else. <laughs> you see the tourists out and they're yes. hiking. Just last weekend we were out and there was a group of them and none of them had a water bottle, Yeah. even grandma, and you're like, it's not hot, but they don't realize how dry you're still That's true. losing a lot of moisture. We because are you're not really sweating. dry here. So, and people feel it in their skin, but they don't yeah. think to drink more water. So, drinking water will help you with your skin as well. So, take that water bottle. If you stop by our office, uh, we're on Gene Autry Trail. We'd be happy to give one to you, whether you're a, yeah. a visitor or a, a local. Come grab a bottle and you know, bring it on the trail, take it to the festival, even at the airport, it's a great thing to have. Yeah, good for the environment too, to uh, to have those recyclable bottles because then you don't have to waste all that extra plastic. So Exactly. Well, thanks for being here today. And uh, yeah, find out more, dwa.org. That's right. Thanks for being here with us.